Graham. He's hauled in six catches for 106 yards last night in the Cowboys' 28-20 win over the Giants. CD also nearly had a touchdown, but uh, just couldn't get that foot down. Uh, Shannon, is CD making the case? He is now a top 10 receiver. Well, I think Skip and I are going to be universal on the first one. I think Skip will take CD, Devontae Adams, Justin Jefferson, Jamar Chase, Cooper Cup, Stephon Diggs, and DeAndre Hopkins. I believe you'll take all those guys over CD. Now, here's where it gets interesting. I still like A.J. Brown and Jalen Waddle over CD. I'll take Debo. Now we get to like 10 to 13. CD Lamb, Mike Evans, Amari Cooper, Tyler Lockett, Terry McLaurin. <sighs> Are we sure? Are we sure he's better than McLaurin? Are we sure about that? You sure about that, Skip? I, I am dead sure about that. Are you that. sure about that? Yep. So if you you so if, if if I gave if I put CD with Taylor Heineke and I put McLaurin with that, you good you good with that? Okay. Okay. McLaurin's a little faster. I'll give you that. <laughs> uh Skip, I got him somewhere between ten and twelve. Uh, I didn't even, I didn't even mention DK Metcalf. Uh, so I'm gonna say yes, Skip. If he continues on this pattern, he could possibly break the top ten. But that's just slightly. Like I said, those he ain't seeing Tyreek. Nobody is taking CD over Tyreek, Devontae, Jefferson, Chase, Cups, Dig, Hopkins. Nobody, not even you, is taking him over those. I think he is now threatening D Hop. Threatening. Skip, you see D Hop got 40, got 40, got D Hop got 45 catches in five games. He does. He was gone for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Your guy played 11 games. Your guy played 11 games. It's 8 and 3, right? 8, 11 games. Your guy got 64 catches. D Hop got 45 in six fewer games. I, I got it. I see a top 10 receiver, but I'll rank him 10th and on the rise. And he just did come off six for 106 yeah. against the Giants. And when he went up to the Giants, obviously it was a Cooper Rush game. Mm -hmm. He had another pretty big game because he had eight for 87. Mm -hmm. I, but I can't stat you with this. I, I can't compare his stats. I can compare his targets because he's, yeah. he's fifth in targets. But uh, we just talked about Stefan Diggs. He, he's running away with the targets because oh, yeah. he's got 115 <laughs> targets. And then Justin Jefferson is 109. And then Tyreek is 105. And Devontae is 103. And then at fifth, at 98 in targets, is C.D. Lamb. Right. Shannon, I'm going off eye test. I'm going off the one hand catches that I saw yesterday, catches I see fairly routinely through the year. Right. Big catches on big downs, third and 12s when he catches a 14-yarder. And I'm going with run after catch. He's not Debo, but I think he's in the ballpark with Debo on run after catch okay. because when he gets a hold of it and he turns on you, you better look out because there is physicality involved in him. Not, not to Debo's level, but he, he is the dominant receiver on this football team. And if Odell does walk through that door, I, I think it'll be still clear cut that Odell that, that Odell just be the number three going on number two, maybe to the 1A. Right. But I don't think he'll ever be better than CeeDee Lamb is. And I do think in that locker room that they view him as a difference maker. That, that he's somewhere, at least in Micah's ballpark, as the offensive difference maker who can come up with the big play. Nah, the nah, big nah, nah. In order for him to be a difference maker, he need to be uh, in Micah's ballpark. He need to be Jefferson. He needs to be Tyreek or Devontae. Nah, nah, nah. You can't put up these kind of – no, 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 no. But I can't do it with, with the, the overall numbers. I can just do it with remember that play and remember that play and, and he made that play and he did that and he did that. It seems like he will rise and shine – in clutch situations you, and make clutch catches. You told me last week you'd rather have him over Jefferson. And Jefferson went after him. You told me last week you'd rather have C.D. over George, Justin Jefferson. Every time I see Justin Jefferson, he's quiet against my Dallas Cowboys. Skip. Maybe it's a dig situation. Skip. Maybe it's Trevon Diggs. But think about uh, imagine, okay. imagine if Justin Jefferson was going against that secondary. That's dead last in pass defense. Can okay. you imagine what he would do? Okay, I just remember Justin Jefferson had two for 21. Two, last yes. year up there, and then what? I can't remember what he had. Three for thirty-three, I think it was. Yeah. So two for twenty-one and three for thirty-three. But Skip, look at what your guy had against. That, look at what your guy had against uh, last week against that secondary. That's the worst secondary in football, and your guy didn't get a hundred yards. He got hundred yards against guys that had to, that took off work 
their second job to go play in the NFL game. That's what they did. And he got 106, and you over there crowing about that. Okay. So at Minnesota, he had five for 45. Wow. He was not needed because Tony Pollard took that game over in ways he did not take the game over yesterday. Yet Tony Pollard did have three splashy plays yesterday, but his overall totals were not spectacular. And then you got Chris Olave and you got St. Brown, who's from Detroit. Every time, every, I don't know what it is, but every time he must be know I'm watching or something, because every time I watch him, he go get 100 yards. He does. No, he's very good. <laughs> he's very <laughs> underestimated. I, I agree with that. CeeDee Lamb runs with such authority and purpose that I think most people just on, well, look, look at pro football focus. They, they just grade him. Yeah. And they have him graded right now the eighth best receiver. Yeah. So, so he's somewhere right in there for me because of overall impact. But it's not a stat machine kind of impact where they're, they're not throwing him that many balls. Skip, they get, he got he, uh, fifth in targets. They okay, are he's trying to fifth. throw him. He's fifth, Skip, but he's not first. How about, how many, think about what you just said. They've thrown him 98 targets. He's caught 64 of them. That's not good. No, he drops too many balls. That's he not did good. early. I, I showed you one the other day. Cooper rushed through him a ball that had touchdown oh, written yeah, all over, and yeah. it hit him right in the chest, and he dropped yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Okay. I got that. I'm just saying, when I watch 88 on the field, when I watch him operate, yeah. he looks top ten to me. Maybe, maybe I can't stat it up. I can't back it up with numbers, but. It, it, I think your eye test tells you he's top 10. Skip, that, I mean, Justin Jefferson has almost 300 more yards, 400 mm -hmm. more yards than him. Yeah. Justin, listen, Kirk Cousins just looks for 18 and just flings it. That's all y'all yeah. looking. Who y'all think you're looking for? He got his, as many, damn near as many targets as uh, J.J. Mm. Gallup gets his share now that he's healthy. But he ain't down on my like no. J.J. And yeah. you had the nerve to say you would take C.D. over J.J. Well, we, we, we shut down J.J. Every time, show me. But you say you you skip. turn on Detroit and see that kid. Skip. I I turn on Minnesota and I don't see it against you, my defense. Against your defense. Okay. Imagine if CD was going against if CD was going against your defense. I'd be scared. And no, you would not be. Scared. I would be. <laughs> you would not be. Scared. I would be scared. You not get scared because you can't, you can't hold up. Difference maker. That's the worst defense. I mean, if JJ went against that defense, mm. his own defense, he might have two fifty. I know JJ. He doesn't look the part to me. He didn't <laughs> run the part. He just catches the part, right? <laughs> he be but killing. he sure does yeah. produce. 12, 30, All right, 12, after last night's yards. big win for your Cowboys, Skip, they get a break. They're not back in action. Three plays to get the Bills within field goal range yesterday to kick that game winner over the Lions. Allen finishes with 331 total yards, three total touchdowns, and one interception. Shannon, give Josh Allen a letter grade for his performance. Uh, Skip, I gave him a, I gave him a B minus, uh, but he's gonna have to take, he's gonna have to stop taking so much punishment, Skip. I mean, he hitting the ground. That's a big man to be hitting the ground, and he's trying to take on linebackers, and they're standing him up, and they're just getting hat after hat. They're getting multiple hats on him, mm -hmm. and eventually that's gonna catch up with him. Yeah. I know he's been banged up. Uh, and he's playing through some things, but he found a way. Threw another, had another horrible interception again, uh, and they're killing him. Red it's zone. The, red it's the zone. red zone, and yeah. it's taking, at minimum, Skip, is taking points off the board. A field goal at least. A couple of times he's thrown interceptions in the end zone. Yeah, can which, we see that if we okay. have it there? I think let's go ahead and show what Shannon just brought up because it's pretty horrendous what he did, and that's six out of seven games yeah. he has turned it over in the red zone. That one got popped up but, in yeah. the air. Okay. Well, he's telling he's staring the guy down. I mean, the guy just, just yeah. I mean, he, he, I think that was, uh, he was intended for uh, Stefan Diggs. Yeah. I mean, he's looking at him the whole way, and the guy I, just. I think he intends like every pass to <laughs> Stefan Diggs, but go ahead. But Skip, the thing is that we just can't look at Josh as his arm as the way he's going to win games. His legs, he, and like uh, uh, Jen mentioned, the last drive, those three. Now, the big was set up by that torpedo that he threw to uh, Stephon Digg. Uh, there are very few guys that have the confidence can throw that ball in there and can get it there with the velocity, but he had to have height to get it over the guys that were in between him and Stephon Diggs. He has a big-time arm. It is always, Skip, that first play, you want to get something.